Hello everyone, welcome to Good Comicology YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the concept called software composition analysis. So in industries, so it's mandatory to use a software composition analysis to scan your source code and especially scan your open source modules and libraries that regularly developers do import from the open source. So the reason why we need to use software composition analysis so I'm going to put you an example. So usually, you know, if you get a requirement to develop some business logic, so what developer do? They do write the code. But while writing the code, they don't develop it from the scratch. So there are hundreds of open source libraries and modules are available or in a market. And they do import it in the source code. They just customize it and you know they bring the results to the business team. So you know, it is mandatory to scan the software composition analysis with those open source libraries and modules because it was developed by open source community. So they might have uh, followed the standards or they might not. So they might have vulnerabilities on the open source modules and libraries. So that's the reason it's, it's mandatory to scan all the your uh, source code along with the uh, open source module packages and, you know, libraries. So, you know, there are hundreds of libraries are available, like, you know, and there are thousands of modules are available. There are lacks of, like, you know, if you take a Python, we have a bunch of libraries and modules are available. So let me show you, like, I'm going into Google and I'm going to looking into the uh, Python list of modules and libraries. So if I, if I print on it, like, you know, if you see, we have a NumPy, Scatline, this is all data science, pandas and all. So let me go any one of the, yeah, if I go in DigitalOcean, I can see here. So it's just syntax. Uh, yeah, top 30 Python libraries to known 2024. So yeah, Ramp, NumPy, uh, PPNV and Bob, TensorFlow, PyTorch, PyBrine, Milk, Keras, Dash, Pandas, SkyFi, Matplotlib for visualization, Thano, and Semi. So these are like you know, regularly the modules and libraries that are uh, developed by Python itself. So for developing these libraries and modules, like you know what what the open source community do, they do write the code and they merge into Python official source code, but it's, it's, it's mandatory to scan these libraries. So how do you scan it? So that's the reason, like, you know, we brought the software composition analysis. So the reason why I'm taking Python and Django, because like, you know, I regularly use uh, Python and Django. So in our writing the code and developing the applications. So if, if, you, if you might not aware about the Django, so Django is a framework for Python, and you can use this Django to implement your web applications and APIs in real world. So today we are going to discuss about software or composition analysis with the amazing tool called Safety. So Safety is a tool for scanning the software composition analysis for Django. So what we will do in this video, we will we will clone one of the uh, you know vulnerable repository from the GitHub, and we will use Safety as a tool to scan our source code to find the software composition analysis. In other hand, to find the vulnerabilities on our uh, libraries and modules. So because like, you know, regularly developers do import on source code and it's mandatory to scan it via uh, following the DevSecOps principle. And you can integrate this uh, safety tool into your DevSecOps or uh, DevOps pipelines. And once the code uh, has uh, arrived into source code management, so you can integrate CACD pipelines and the, the code is going to scan with the safety tool. And you can get the vulnerability of list. So what all packages or what all libraries have the vulnerabilities, what version was affected. So what are the solutions for that fixing the particular vulnerable versions? So we'll look into this video. We will use a safety tool to scan or find the vulnerabilities on only on our libraries and you know and modules. And there are hundreds of software composition analysis tools are available in the market. It is not mandated to use a safety. But safety is a tool only designed for scanning the software composition analysis for Python and Django applications. So <clears throat> let's see, I'm going to walk you through first about the 
applications which is the uh, uh, pygot so pygot itself is a vulnerable application it is an intentional vulnerable web application for security in django so you can use this you know uh, github repository to uh, for educational purpose to scan your uh, scan this source code and you can find what all vulnerabilities are present in this uh, you know um, source code and accordingly you can take the actions so this is for educational purpose. You can see the source code uh, structure. We have the solution, chatbots, docs, introduction, and we have hundreds of uh, you know uh, folders. So I'm just going randomly into PyGoat, and you can see this is the Django folder structure regularly look like, like website gateway interface, URL settings, and init.pys. And if I go to chatbot, and we have the IPY in B file and solutions so we have a mess images and all okay so if i go to introduction so we have these all like apps.fi forms.fi so these all the uh, you know files have some uh, source code which is developed by developers if you see here from J from django.apps import app config so they are using one like open source uh, uh, you know uh, app config which is imported from django.apps and if i go back let me show you another source code which is models.py so if you see here like they are importing settings they're importing models they're importing mixed value validations so you import you know you each and every file they're importing any one of the open source uh, modules and libraries if you see this one base 64 date and time and hash lips so logging pickle and uh, string random and so these all are like you know they have they have been hundreds of their a bunch of modules and libraries are importing over here and accordingly they are writing their own source code by utilizing it because so without utilizing those open source modules or you know or libraries they cannot build few you know implementation because again they need to write the entire source code from the scratch so by utilizing those libraries and modules, so they can they can easier their work and they can bring the business logic as soon as possible as quick way. And so this is the developer perspective. When it comes to security side, so we need to scan those vulnerable uh, those uh, modules and libraries, and we need to find what all vulnerabilities we have. Like, are there any vulnerabilities are going on this particular open source uh, components, and what vulnerable what version it got affected. And what is the solution for that vulnerable version? So this is the you know, brief introduction about it. And we will use the safety tool. And uh, by using the safety tool, we can we can find the, all the vulnerabilities are present in this PyGoat uh, application. So I'm just bringing you a safety as a tool, which is a software compression analysis. So safety tool for Django. So you can see here, uh, security in Django, uh, let me go safety to for python yeah this is a safety so it was developed by python itself so if you want to install safety so you should have a python install in your local laptop and 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 pip is a package manager for installing packages in uh, your Python environment. So if you want to install this tool, so you need to follow this command, which is pip install safety. So I already have installed in my uh, Ubuntu, which is a WS, uh, WSI for Windows. So I'm using uh, uh, Ubuntu on top of Windows. So, and I will show you how in future session, how you can do that. It's a simple, you just need to go to Microsoft store and just pick it up the Ubuntu and you can download it by WSI. So that's about the uh, Ubuntu and already have installed. So, uh, you know, let me copy this command again. I'm just pressing enter. So you can see that already requirement satisfied already because I already installed it. So just a sample command. You just need to pass it. Now what we can do, let's let's copy this uh, source code, which is on GitHub. So I'm going to clone it. So for that, I'm just copying it and I'm just coming back out of this repository. And I'm creating a new uh, director which is a uh, Django. No, no, no. What is it? Pygot, right? Yeah. Py G O A T. Pygot. I just pressed enter. I have created one directory in a Windows we called as a folder. So I'm going inside a folder, 
which is a pi goat i'm just clearing my screen if i press enter i don't have any files and folders are present in my ubuntu machine so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this entire source code into my ubuntu because it is not available in my ubuntu machine it is available on web interface which is github so for that reason i'm going to clone through this you know https way which is a calling the particular url of the github and using the git commands so for that i'm going to call git clone and i'm going to pass the repository url so when I, once i press enter it will pull all the you know, source code into my local laptop so now last case we have press enter which is a press ls which is for finding the or listing the folders and files so we couldn't find anything but after git clone if i press ls we can see we have a pycode directory came into our ubuntu because we have downloaded which is we have cloned it as per the github technology so that's what it is right so if you see this one you know pycode we have the same folder structure if i go instead of uh, pycode and if i press ls so if you see this one we have a, a docker file for containerization and this is the docker file and we have a solutions if you see this one we have a solution so we have all the files which are available in github all the files are present in our ubuntu mission too. so since we have installed the uh, safety tool into our ubuntu and to scan our django application and which was built top of python so now the time to scan our source code with the safety which means we are going to use a software composition analysis we are going to use a software composition analysis towards our django application and we are going to find what all vulnerabilities are present in our django application and we can sit with the developers to fix that since you are a devops or devsecops engineer thus fixing the vulnerabilities version is not a cup of your tea so you just need to go and sit with the developers and you know you know to discuss with them because they do write the code and they do have much aware of what versions to be installed as per the versions of python and django okay so let's not face the time so i'm going to scan my source code which is currently available on here with the safety so you don't need to pass any critical or you know lengthy commands for scan your source code for which is a software composition analysis with a safety too so you just need to pass safety s a f e t y safety is a tool name and later you need to pass check so if i pass this command on your terminal so safety tool will get call and it will scan your entire source code so i'm just going to press enter so see it's going to take time okay so it's got scanned so usually it takes some a uh, fraction of you know milliseconds or seconds to get scanned if you see here it is going to call the safety and it is saying that by safety cl organization.com and later it's saying the safety is using pi apps a free open source vulnerability database which means like even the safety tool has to have uh, some databases to uh, you know get the latest vulnerabilities or uh, it, it is going to match what all vulnerabilities are already, already captured by safety and what all versions uh, do you have and what all versions are affected so it's going to uh, compare those two versions it is going to show the report on the your terminal so that's what it's meant to say that and this data is 30 days older and the limited which means that this is not a latest one it is a 30 days older and for real-time enhancement of vulnerabilities date, the fixed remediation, safety reporting, cyber security supporting, so project policy management. So it's saying that if you want to, you know, find the real-time enhancement vulnerabilities data, which is saying that this is the 30 days vulnerability, 30 days old data that we are using currently. So if you want to get the latest data, so you can go and log into pyup.io and you can email them and you can contact them for, you know, support for that. So since we are using support, uh, safety uh, as a tool, which is a v3.0.1, just scanning for vulnerabilities. And if you say this is scanning all these packages and using the open source vulnerability databases, and so it's saying that, you know, found and scanned 59 packages currently, and it's found seven vulnerabilities and uh, zero ignored. So it's saying that, hey, what all vulnerabilities are available, so have in intimated you about it. So it's saying that vulnerability report, and the first one is vulnerability found in wheel so wheel is kind of a kind of a uh, library in you uh, know python so and if you see this like you know vulnerability id and 5149 and affected specific uh, specs is the 0 0.38.1 and uh, advisory saying that hey uh, uh, 
this is a uh, advisory about including the fix of CV. Uh, uh, CV's version is saying, and later an issue found in packaging authority. So that's what, like you know, this is how you can find the CV's ID and. Um, uh, since since the it's, it's kind of packaging of uh, your application by using the wheels and and uh, since the wheel was scanned by safety tool and you can see the this is the um, vulnerable ID and if you want more information you can visit this safety .cla and particular version of five one four double nine and you can find the more information about this particular vulnerability. And it is saying vulnerability found and pip version. So since pip is a uh, package manager for Python, so it got the uh, you know uh, vulnerability on this version also, saying that hey, vulnerability ID and affected specification is 23.0. And advisory pip 23.g includes a fix for CV. So when installing a package for Merkleus VVCs and URLs. That means pip install hg plus with pip uh, prior 23.1. So this is how like and it's giving some advisory to fix this uh, versions also. And the next auth lib and it's the same one like you know it's giving us a vulnerability ID and cryptography and same cryptography. So we have cryptography of multiple vulnerabilities and uh, pyjwt so Java web uh, web token so. So this is how you know safety tool is going to give a vulnerability ID and affected specification and advisory. So what version is going to fix for the particular vulnerability? And saying that remediation seven vulnerabilities are reported in five packages. So for more details like our fixed remediations, upgrade the community license. Saying that hey, you need just need to upgrade the uh, to more information. You need just need to update licenses. So even it is giving the same information which is given a top safety is using by uh by apps of free open source vulnerability data which is 30 days older so this is how guys you can use a safety tool and you can scan your entire source code uh with with the uh, safety tool and you can find the open source which is modules or libraries uh vulnerabilities and you can fix it because like you know usually uh as a responsibility of devsecops engineer you know in the last videos we had seen like sast and we have seen uh, other uh, analysis or other scanning tools. So when so, you know we are discussing about software composition analysis, so it is mandatory to scan your uh, uh, source code only specific to you know um, open source modules and open source libraries. So since like uh, safety is only for sticking for Python and Django, but you know you might you might go with other tools which is available in market. Like you know if you are using uh, Java, you can go to other uh, you know composition analysis tools. But it is mandatory to integrate these tools in your CI/CD pipelines if you are if you are using the automation of deployments. And that's all about the uh, safety tool. And I uh, covered all about safety tool. And if you want to, uh, I forgot to mention another command. So if you want to get more information, just to enter the safety hyphen hyphen help. So this is a command where you can get multiple information or the scans, system scans, alerts, licenses, validations. And we have a stages, proxies, and proxy protocols, everything. So you can go to this documentation. You can read up, and you know, if you want more information, you can go to uh, you know the safetycla.com. So this is the documentation do regularly available over here. So that's all about this software composition analysis, guys. And you know, if you are a DevOps or DevSecOps engineer, so it's mandatory to integrate this such type of composition analysis tools uh, into your um, you know inf environment, or, or on the other hand, I can say into your pipelines. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you liked it and uh, I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel, share to your friends and we'll come with the amazing concept in the future and thanks for watching. That's all for today. Bye-bye.